right guys, so I'm, I was sent back to uh, get the dryer started. We ran out of corn, so the dryer automatically shuts itself off. So I'm gonna walk you through a real quick uh, session here and try and show you how some of the bin site and the grain dryer work. This is the exchanger here I showed you before. The grain gets blown through these pipes. Right now we're on there, so we're blowing it up into this bin. And it's all forced. It's all forced by air with a great big fan over here after it comes out of the dryer. And I'm doing this right now before I start up the dryer um, because once I get the dryer and the fan system going, it's gonna be pretty tough to hear me. But this is the fan here, the fan motor here. And that's what we call the air lock. So the grain gets slowly fed out the bottom of the dryer into there goes into this uh, into the pipes here that are being blown back that way with the air pressure how the dryer works is there's two great big fans up front and they pull air from outside right now we've got the top one set so that it's pulling air from the outside and it heats that air to about 215 degrees is where we're set right now so it'll heat that air to 215 degrees and it there's uh, the inside of the dryer in the back is open um, both of these Both of these parts of the dryer the upper and the lower unit are open in the middle So the grain is inside the walls actually so the walls are about a foot thick and the corn is inside Inside these columns in the walls and inside these uh, doors here see if I can Well, I won't try and open one up for you, but it's uh, it's hollow inside there anyway, and the uh, you can see the bolt line here um, that's where the grain is is full of so it crosses here and It kind of slowly works its way down through the walls as it's being heated and, and air forced through it until it gets to this Auger at the bottom and it gets sent out into the air system So the grains all in the walls. That's how that works and right now the top one will heat the corn up the the uh, Inside the plenum temperature is what the inside hollow part is called. It's the plenum the temperature is set at 215 right now as the corn runs down and it crosses into the bottom unit it's actually taking air and it's uh, forcing cooler air through it so it cools the corn a little bit before we end up blowing it into the bin um, we can have it heating on both plenums if we got to dry really wet corn but uh, that hasn't been the case for the last few years um, to get it there the truck will come and dump it in these pits each pit holds 500 bushels so a truck can pull up with 900 or a thousand bushels and dump each each uh, hopper into these tanks They get augered up into the grain leg and right now with the wet corn It's set so that it ends up going down into what we call the wet tank here or the wet bin um, The dryer has a sensor on it. It will automatically there's a sensor up there It will automatically call for corn as it empties out. So every time it gets down to a certain point These augers turn on automatically it sends the grain up into here into the leg and then it ends up in the uh, in the dryer when we're dumping a truck at the same time some corn will end up going to the dryer some will end up going to the wet bin so that's all automatic everything's pretty well automatic once we dump the grain we turn on these two uh, the um, pit augers here and it's all automatic they start up and uh, once the pits are empty these motors sense that the load on the augers isn't there anymore and they'll shut themselves down um, we leave the leg run all day because uh, it's pretty busy transferring corn all the time. So I'm going to turn on the air system there. And then I'll walk in here and uh, fire up the dryer. Okay, so in this room, these are our controls for the dryer. <clears throat> this is how we control the, the dryer and we uh, test our corn. Uh, for the moisture and the test weight different things like that. We got some wrenches and belts in here and that kind of stuff, but anyway We'll start the dryer up manual operation And here these are our last numbers so Moisture was reading about 18 and a half the last time as it was going um, This adjusts the speed that it's coming out the back of the dryer. I'll leave it at zero when we start um, We'll get the dryer loading here so we'll turn that on. You can hear the augers outside start up a little bit. So these augers will automatically kick on. Don't worry about those piles back there. We'll take care of those. We uh, overfilled that bin the other day and it came out the roof vents. So that's automatically turning on. And right now it's going up into the leg and it'll cross over into the dryer. 
Look at that, there's a flyby. So right now the dryer is loading. That'll get full. It'll take just a minute. I'll start the fan up here. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I'll start the second fan up. Maybe hear it start here. You can see some of the some of the steam coming out because the grain that's inside there is still hot from when it shut down here 20 minutes ago. And those fans, the belts squeal a little bit because they're such big fans. Those fans will take a minute to get going. We got cat out here catching mice. She doesn't like the dryer. Turn on our heat. Here's our current plenum temps, 82 in the top and 56 in the bottom. Those will heat up once, uh, obviously once the heat gets going. These two numbers here, this senses the temperature and the moisture of the grain coming out the back of the dryer. 18.8, um, it's a little bit high, we'll probably slow it down some. Slow it down a little bit to get it a little bit drier, but once it gets in the bins, with the fans on and the bins, it'll actually dry down a couple percent in there because it's still warm. It's pulling in fairly warm air, so the grain will will uh, dry down more once we get it there. So if we get it coming out of the back of the dryer at about 16 and a half or 17 percent, we'll get it down to that 14, kind of right where we want to be. And now we'll start our unload. And that automatically kicked on our fan system. So as soon as the unload of the dryer turns on, this fan system turns on automatically to transfer any grain coming out the back. So now that we know that that's going, I'll bump this up. This is the meter roll speed. I'll start at we'll start at 18 percent, and I'll listen to make sure it sounds like everything's moving good. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear grain moving through the pipes. pretty noisy back here but I can hear it moving through. I can feel that the pipes are warm so as long as there's no grain coming down anywhere we should be good. It should be going in that bin. So that's kind of a brief rundown of uh, what's going on with the bin site and the dryer and everything.